Welcome to this uh, course on integrated circuits and applications. First of all, I uh, will discuss about what is uh, integrated circuit and what are uh, the advantages of the integrated circuits. So, integrated circuit is nothing but a fabrication of all the components of electronic circuit on a single uh, silicon or any other suitable semiconductor material. So, coming to the uh, realization of uh, electronic circuits, we can uh, realize any electronic circuit using uh, discrete components or we can realize by using integrated circuits also. Then what are the advantages of the integrated circuit relations over the discrete component relation? The advantages of this integrated circuit relations are the first one is uh, high packing density in the sense in a given area we can uh, fabricate uh, many components that you can call as low area relation also. The second advantage of the integrated circuit uh, relation is high speed. So, this is uh, due to the absence of uh, parasitic capacitances. In case of a discrete component relation, there will be some parasitic capacitances which uh, limit the speed of the circuit. The third advantage of this integrated circuit is low cost due to high production and the fourth advantage of this integrated circuits is uh, it consumes low power when compared with the discrete relations. So, because of uh, these advantages nowadays integrated circuits are very common in uh, all the electronic appliances. Coming to this uh, course here initially I uh, will give brief introduction to uh, the integrated circuits, different types of the integrated circuits. Then I will consider one of the popular integrated circuits such as operational amplifier. So, this operational amplifier is having plenty of applications. I okay. will uh, initially start with uh, the simple inverting and non-inverting amplifiers. Then as the name implies operational amplifier not only amplifies, but also it performs some operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So, we will discuss the op amp adder circuit, op amp subtractor, op amp uh, multiplier, op amp division circuits. Then after that uh, we will go to some specialized applications such as filters. We can realize the filters using op amps. Then op amp based uh, oscillators. Then we will discuss the waveform generation circuits using op amps. After that uh, we will consider one of the specialized IC such as a triple phi timer and some of the applications of the triple phi timer. Then we will consider another IC 565 which is called as phase lock loop and some of the applications of the phase lock loops. Then we will consider the voltage regulator ICs. Then we will consider two uh, very popular circuits such as uh, unlock to digital converter and digital to unlock converter. So, at the end I will discuss some of the uh, digital IC applications such as CMOS circuits combinational as well as sequential. So, this course is uh, basically uh, intended for uh, the undergraduate students. This is a first level course on uh, integrated circuits and applications and this course also will be useful for the research scholars and faculty members who wish to revise their basics on the integrated circuits and applications. Thank you. Thank you.